channel. Today I filmed this look, which is kind of my go-to makeup, but it's still a bit, I guess, glam. It's like a natural, uh, a simple kind of glam look. So it's just a smoky eye with a kind of nude lip. Um, but yes, if you want to find out how I did it, then keep watching. So I'm starting off by using this. It's a it's called PS Pro Illuminating Primer. Um, I really wanted illuminating powder, uh, primer spray, and this came in my latest glossy box. So I've just pushed that into my skin using an Oval 10 brush, I think this is. And then I'm using my normal foundation, which is the Unique um, Skin Perfecting Foundation in colour Taffeta and a little bit of Organza to cover up my spots and bronze. As I've been using a lot of paint, my skin has decided to break out. So I'm applying that and then I will go in and do my brows. I'm using the dark brown from the palette 1 eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going on and concealing my eyelids. I found this is a really, really good way to make a kind of base for eyeshadow. So I'm using um, Organza Concealer and then I'm just setting that and pushing it into my skin and kind of drying it, I suppose, with a blending bud. And then from that same palette I used, which is palette one, I used the dark colour on my brows. I'm going in and using the base colour, which, well, I use it as a base colour, it's called Elated. I'm then going in with this colour for my transition shade, which is a really nice warm brown. This is called Chipper and I'm just basically applying it to the crease and slightly above. On top of that transition shade I'm using this which is a pigment called Provoked. It's this really nice kind of brownie orange and it's perfect for a crease colour but also transition colour. So I'm going in with that lighter colour on the whole lid and then I'm using this same colour I've got on my brows uh, into the outer corner of my eye and kind of deepening that crease slightly. So for the bottom lash line I'm going in with this crease brush and I'm just going to blend out that same dark colour underneath. I'm then going in with an angled brush with the same brush and colour that I use on my brows again and just deepening um, that lash line and making it really close to my eye because I didn't want it too smoky because I will blend it out. It doesn't matter if you mess up too much because we can change it with concealer. So now that's done, I'm going in with these lashes, which are the Eldora H168, I think they are. Um, and yeah, they're really nice and quite wispy, and I love them. So I'm going in and applying them with Duo Eyelash Glue and some eyelash tweezers. Once they are dry, I will then pinch them to seal into my natural eyelashes, and then I'm going to coat over some mascara. So using the concealer I used on my eyelids earlier, I am just going underneath my eyes and then dragging it down slightly. This is a quite a thick um, concealer, so it's super good for dark circles and any kind of coverage. I use the shade Organza because it's for pink skin with pink undertones. So if you have spots, um, breakages, redness, this is probably the perfect concealer for you. And yeah, I'm just blending that over my face with a flat brush. I neatened up the bottom eyeshadow quite a lot with the concealer so I'm just softening that line with the brush I used and then we're moving on to contour. Instead of mapping it out like doing the lines first I decided to just blend as I was going so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. Um, this is a medium, uh, the light to medium powder and I'm just putting that where I contour so cheekbones, the side, the temples of your head and the top of the head and the side of the nose but I'm just blending as I go rather than mapping it out and then blending. So then for highlight I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette, this one is called That Glow and I'm using the colour Sunset. All the colours are so nice but this one is just my favourite as it really stands out. For my lips I am going in with the, this is a colour called um, Prudent, I changed my mind but I just thought I'd show you this colour because it's super nice and very um, like Kylie's exposed lip colour. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Then I changed my mind, I wanted something a little bit darker, so I've gone in with the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K. Um, this is the lip liner, and then I'm going over and using the liquid lipstick that comes in the Candy K lip kit. 
And this is the finished look. So if you like this look, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I've got new videos coming every single day on the lead up to Halloween. So I think it's the 23rd up until the 31st. So make sure you are stay tuned for that. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new.